Hey guys, what's going on? Today we are going to be doing a very, most likely going to be a very controversial video. Um, it's going to be talking about the purple stone that was available from purchasing one of the packs. I believe it was the second to largest pack for the third year anniversary, though. This is probably going to hold true for a while, even on the next time that they do a purple stone. I think they did... I think they did two purple stones on Shea P at this point. I'm, don't hold me to that, but I'm pretty sure that's what they've done. Um, now, we're going to talk about if you got the purple stone, which one you should choose if you already haven't chosen one. I know some of you are still up in the air. Maybe some of you are late purchasers of the stone. Um, if you already used the stone, let me know who you decided to go for. Now, as you guys have known, at least if you have been following me, I have chose Super Gogeta myself. But that's uh, specifically because I have all the other 120 leads. Um, I really wanted him. I have the, the strength one, but base form intelligence does more out damages the max rainbow uh, <laughs> strength one. So that's why I went for him. But I want to do my best to talk about these units, what their pros, what their cons are. And uh, I'm going to try and give you like a, a pairing of like, I, I kind of want to say tier them, but they're not really, it's not tier in terms of damage output, just the viability. So um, let's go ahead and jump into it, and you guys can let me know if you agree or disagree down in the comments below. Before we start, guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Um, I've been getting a lot of some new subscribers since mentioning that in my videos. I actually ended up watching um, an interview with MatPat from Game Theory, and, oh, from the Game Theorist and Film Theorist, and he said that he saw a huge bump in subscribers when he started mentioning this, hit the subscribe button. So I decided to start bringing that back to the channel. So do me a favor, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you like the content of this video. Anyway, um, I'm going to do this in kind of the order that I believe that they're going to be into. Now, the first three are going to be part of their own tier. Uh, so the first one's going to be the Super Saiyan 3 Goku Angel. Now, he's a very interesting unit. There's not that many Super Saiyan 3. Well, I think there's the only there's only one Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. Um, he's a very good lead. Obviously, all the leaders are 120 leaders. Now, why do I like him? Well, immense damage, obviously. Rare chance to stun the enemy. Attack plus 100% plus 15% per rainbow key orb obtained means he's going to be a very hard hitter. Um, he has some really good link skills especially with over and a flash super saiyan um he does doken awaken obviously we're gonna go ahead and talk about that as well as doken awaken form um let's see 120 attack plus 120 plus 20 percent per rainbow key orb obtained uh limit breaking form fierce battle over in a flash revival uh super saiyan golden warrior pretty much all decent link skills might maybe minus limit breaking form the reason why i really like him is because look at his categories holy crap not only is he a hard hitter he is has a phenomenal category system he's part of resurrected warriors he's part of majin buu saga he's part of super saiyan 3 and pure saiyans best part about him being on super saiyan 3 he does link with the easy a goku very very well and pretty much any other unit on that team because he does have over in a flash he does outstanding amounts of damage he is such an awesome unit honestly i I wish I had pulled him when he first, I think, I, I don't think I pulled him when he first came out. Um, I had also, honestly, I really haven't used him too much. Uh, my Super Saiyan 3 team, I've used him, but I really haven't had a chance to let him shine on a team. I really look forward to making this character go good. Now, I really like him, and I'm going to tell you that he's going to be one of the top three choices that you should choose, specifically because um, Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, while the 120 leaders aren't really chosen that much when they do, there's only really these three that are chosen, um, number one being this guy, um, and he's also part of so many different categories. I mean, all the categories here are actually very viable. Pure Saiyan, which isn't available on Global yet, but will be, he's very viable for that. Super Saiyan 3, obviously, there's not a lot of Super Saiyan 3s. You're definitely going to want him for that category. Majin Buu Saga, he's definitely going to be a staple for that. Um, remember, uh, Super Vegito, he's going to link very well with him. He's going to link with very well with other units for that team. And Resurrected Warriors. So these are phenomenal categories to have him on. And he's just going to do nuts amounts of damage. Especially if you have a key orb manipulator that allows you to change type to rainbow. Now, again, you know that's my second favorite type. I hate, um, I hate rainbow to type. I prefer to have type to type but this guy himself you're going to want to have a type to rainbow orb changer and it's, if, especially if you have them he's going to come in very very handy the next one in the top three are going to be super is going to be super, super gogeta now um he's going to be part of the top three let's see when you doken awaken him he is such an awesome unit now a lot of you probably probably already know this and it's probably going to be the unit that you've chosen like i did um attack plus 120 percent immense damage lowers the enemy's uh, attack and defense and he is effective against all types um he has amazing link skills golden warrior super saiyan prepared for battle over in a flash fuse fighter experienced fighters and fierce battle so he has so many key links it's insane he also has experienced fighters because of that experienced fighters it makes him so awesome for linking this guy is probably one of the best linking buddies for top tier units in the game i know he links very very well with super saiyan 3 bardock ultra instinct goku super uh, L, super saiyan um 2 ultimate lr or not super saiyan 2 lr gohan um and the new lr vegito and 
and um, LR Gogeta. They are all very, very good linking buddies. So he is such an awesome unit. The thing that kind of limits him is that he's part of the fusion category only. Now, being part of the fusion category doesn't mean he's bad, but it just means that he's very limited because you're not going to be able to run him on most of those teams. He's going to be a staple unit in your heroes team, most likely, and he's going to be a staple unit, obviously, on a mono intelligence team. So he's going to be really good for those, for those specific um, types of teams you're going to build. But because he's not part of more categories, it's going to really limit him. But this, the sheer amounts of damage that he does to every single type of unit in game, coupled with his amazing link skills, his link ability with other units, he's definitely going to be in the top tier of the top three that I have chosen here. Now, uh, the next one is going to be the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. Now, let's go ahead to his uh, TR form. I kind of give you guys the SSR form first just so you can see the picture just in case you're not sure who I'm talking about. You know, some of you have some casual players who may not know. I want to make sure I can at least reach out to them too. Um, he is literally spitting image of his technique type. If you have the tech type and you're choosing between multiple multiple uh, leads you may not want to choose him as your primary one um this guy outshines his str one uh pretty much of the, these top three the super saiyan 3 goku angel he doesn't have a replacement for himself if you have the strength one the strength um gogeta or if you have the technique super saiyan 3 gotenks and you don't have any of these three you know depending on how your team builds are you might want to consider super saiyan 3 angel goku just because you have uh placeholders for these two but with that being said let's go talk about this um glad Galactic Donut, uh, Charging, Ultra Boo Boo, Volleyball, and Life First King Blow. Obviously, you want the 11 key super, does the most damage, massively raising your attack for one turn and causing immense damage to the enemy. The others are not that bad. All of them do immense damage. This one raises attack for one turn. This one uh, just does uh, greatly lowers the defense of the enemy. His passive skill, very, very good. Attack plus 120% plus an additional attack plus 60% and defense minus 30% for seven turns from the start of the turn. So he's doing a lot of damage. He's not going to tank as well. But he also has some decent link skills, such as Fuse Fighter over in a flash. Um, the Innocence definitely makes him very good for other Trunks um, and Goten and Trunks. Like, any type of those types of units are going to be very good, especially the other Super Saiyan Gotenks. Um, Budding Warrior, which is going to be good for Trunks and Fierce Battle. Now, I keep on mentioning Trunks just because of the, uh, the physical Trunks when you Doken Wake in him. He is a very good unit, so that's all I have to really say about that. He links very well with him. Um, he links a lot, though. I mean, think of it. He does. He has all of really good units. I mean, good units. He has really good link skills over in a Flash, Fuse, Fighter, and um, uh, Super Saiyan, and Fierce Battle. Obviously, are going to be the most common ones. L limit Breaking form it does for the Super Saiyan 3s, but, I mean, again, flat out buff. Now, another reason why I think he's one of the top, going to be in the top tier of units you should choose is because he has the most cat, well, so the second, well, the same amount of categories as the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. He's part of the Fusions team, the Hybrid Saiyans team. Very, very good. He's a staple on that team. The Majin Buu Saga category team, which he's pretty much a staple on that. I mean, right now in the game, I, I've kind of been running the Super Saiyan Gotenks. I know he doesn't do as much damage, but he has better links with some of the units, but he still links very well. Um, and Super Saiyan 3 category, he's going to be a staple on that team as well. With that being said, the tech one does covers all these categories as well. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt. If you don't need um, the physical one because you have the tech one, you may not want to really, you might not need to even choose that keep that in mind but he's a very good unit because of that because of everyone who he links with and because of the multiple categories he is part of um he is definitely going to be one of the number one choices i have so again gogeta super saiyan 3 gotenks and super saiyan 3 goku angel are going to be the top three that i'm going to tell you now i kind of did that on purpose i want you to give you guys the best units in game uh, that i've chose just in case you just want to know what the top three are going to be if you want to continue to watch um to see what the other ones i want to talk about please feel free to stay if not at least give me a like anyway um, the next three are going to be the two Super Saiyan 4 Gokus. Um, well, Super Saiyan 4 Gokus. The two Super Saiyan 4s. Uh, we have the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. We're going to go ahead over here, click on that. And the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. These are going to be the two heroes. And I'm not going to lie to you. Um, now, all the heroes are pretty much came in first place over here. And it kind of stinks. And the whole reason why they came in pl first place is, well, one, category system. And two, you're really going to... People typically run the heroes more often. I don't know why. I mean, I, personally, I'm a villains fan. But, I mean, the heroes are really good. When the Super Saiyan 4 Goku came out, he literally broke the game. I think he is still one of the hardest hitters of all the 120 leads. Now, why do I put him lower on the list in terms of the heroes? Like, he's probably, him and the Vegeta are probably the lower of the two heroes that I'm going to tell you to choose. And he's probably going to be under the Vegeta, 
only because he's only part of one category of uh, pure Saiyans, while the Vegeta is part of the Shadow Dragon Saga, which is going to come in play, especially now because the new Super Saiyan 4, Goku's part of the Shadow Dragon Saga, um, and this guy's only part of the pure Saiyans, and neither of those pure Saiyans are available right now on the global side, so um, unless you are running a mono strength team, um, or maybe a heroes team, Super Saiyan 4, Goku really doesn't have anywhere to be right now, at least in the current meta thing is he does ridiculous amounts of damage attack plus 150 percent medium chance of evading enemy super attack and countering with tremendous power um same thing with this vegeta except he does attack and defense plus 120 percent which also makes him a pretty good beast the other thing is if you have good linking skills like if you have tora who can hit off saiyan pride for an extra 15 percent he can actually almost out damage goku because of so much power the thing is it's just it's very difficult to get a good setup you gotta remember super saiyan 4 goku also has his best linking buddy as the super saiyan 3 goku gt golden great ape form and he hits off all of his good link skills so you're gonna need the two of them together i'm pretty sure they hit up all link skills together <clears throat> anyway plus he also has that passive that increases his um his um uh, the attack and defense of your uh, allies Anyway, uh, both of these guys, they're pretty much unanimous, side by side, um, just a little bit under for the Super Saiyan 4 Goku, only because you could throw the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta on the Shadow Dragon Saga team as of right now. If that doesn't mean anything to you, then these guys kind of finish tied together um, in the same category as these two. I'm going to say the Intelligence Kid Buu and Janemba, both of them. Now, I know some of you are probably ready to ridicule me. I hear the keyboards going right now. Um, the Intelligence Kid Buu, so many people talk so much smack about him. I don't know why this guy is such an awesome unit and men's damage to the enemy recovers 12 percent hp now i also have him 100 percent he is rainbowed so maybe that's why i have a little bit of um a favorite a favorite towards him um but he hits for over 2 million damage consistently um or at least 1.8 million without crits when he crits he's hitting ridiculous amounts of damage i think one time i had him crit for like 3 million damage because of all the defense reductions and attack buffs that i had going on but this guy's ridiculous attack plus 100 percent plus attack plus 70 percent when hp is 30 percent or above and with that 12 percent hp recovery holy crap this guy is like almost always going to have that passive go off um, he has really good link skills as well. Big bad bosses, infinite regeneration for an additional HP recovery, brutal beatdown, fierce battle, while standing tall, not so much because there's not a lot of people who's going to link. Well, there is, depending on who you're, what team you're running. Majin and more than meets the eye. He's part of two categories, Resurrected Warrior and Majin Buu Saga. Now, he, he is actually really good on both of these. Resurrected Warriors are probably going to get more use out of him because it's mostly villains. Um, there are heroes. I'm not saying that there aren't heroes. Um, but having him on a Resurrected Warriors team is really good. Um, and obviously Majin Buu Saga, you could throw him on the Majin Buu Saga. You could link him with Buhan if you want to do that. The two of them are going to link very well together. They're going to do lots of damage, debuffing the enemy, healing, and just like, it's just going to be ridiculous. I think he's a very good unit. And because he's part of two very good categories, I want to say that he's definitely going to be on the next, the second tier choices, uh, right below the first tier that I had just talked about. Now the Janemba, Janemba, I, a lot, this guy got a lot of flack too. Um, he does guard against all types. He does immense damage, greatly lowers the defense of the enemy, and he gives himself a little attack buff of 80%. I know he is not out damaging anyone, all right? He definitely isn't. I think he's probably one of the lower attack units in the in terms of the 120 leads. But, I mean, the fact that he guards against all types and he gives himself an innate dodge ability, including super attacks, just makes him that much better. Um, he has some really good link skills, big bad bosses, shocking speed, metamorphosis, brutal beatdown, nightmare, fear and faith, and fierce battle. He is probably one of the best villains in terms of linking in game. I don't want to say he's the best, but he's one of the best, which just means that there are a lot of villains that can link very well with him. Um, he's also part of the movie bosses category, so I don't that hasn't come yet to the global side, but it's there and he's going to be part of it. He's gonna be a staple on that team. Honestly, um, again, he's not doesn't have that much use. His movie bosses category, it's not that commonly used. Um, but he's still a very, very good unit. Look, yeah, it's just the turtle is over here, and I mean, it's all right. I mean, the movie boss's category is HP attack and defense plus 150%. I still don't see it run too much when I do log into the JP side. I mean, look at that. You do have some really good units. Look at these LRs that you have over here. Again, they're all pretty much JP side other than the Bojack and the Broly, but they are over here. You have so many damn good units that you can run. Oh my gosh. So, I mean, he's just, he, he's a freaking beast. He's going to have at least one category to run on. Obviously, he is a staple on the Mono Extreme team since he's the Extreme Strength Team leader. And he is going to be a staple on a Villains team. Honestly, in my opinion, I still think he is. And remember, he's Strength, so even if you don't have any dupes, he at least has a built-in crit. 
um anyway that's gonna be it for him he is definitely good again these four are really on the second tier um outside of the gogeta super and the two super saiyan threes um now the last tier the lowest tier in my opinion um is going to be Korra, yes, I know. I love Korra. Korra is probably one of my favorite 120 leaders, and he is on the lower tier. Why is he on the lower tier? Well, honestly, because he's only on the movie bosses category. He has nothing special on him that's going to make him go onto a, a villain's team. Uh, his attack and defense is cool and all. He's going he's gonna to block very well, and he does a a launch an additional attack, but it's not a guaranteed super attack. Um, and he is, is honestly his best linking buddies in game or best linking buddy in game is the full power Frieza So if you're running a villains team, you really could only like you don't only have to run the, the Frieza But they're going to benefit the most by having them run together and if you're running the strength Rose That limits your ability because you are literally have to take two physical units And then you are stuck choosing one of every other type when you could do so much better again I mean for for a physical unit. He definitely does do a lot of damage. He's gonna be a very good choice for certain um situations where you want to run freeze maybe maybe like Korra, maybe like freeze the full power freeze i personally do so um again that's up to you but because he's only part of the movie bosses category and that janemba has the advantage the advantage of dodging and blocking against all guarding against all attacks i have to put him just below that janemba he does do a lot of damage he's a very fun unit to run i personally like him but again we're talking about the most viable for new new players um, or if you just want to know which ones probably have the more versa most versatility out of everyone else in the game. Again, very good unit. There's nothing to knock here. Strongest clan in space, thirst for conquest, big bad bosses, shocking speed, universe's most malevolent, metamorphosis, and fierce battle. Very good link skill set, especially if you're running a Frieza clan type um, team. And uh, again, his passive skill is pretty good. Uh, next one, oh, the next two are going to be, and I think these two actually fall below the Korra. Uh, it's going to be Super 17 and Super Saiyan 3 Broly. Now, Broly's damage output is just so freaking ridiculous. And, and and by the way, guys, I don't mean to say that these two units are the worst units out of, like, in the game. They are all very strong, ridiculous units. And if you have all the other ones, you're missing Super Saiyan 3 Broly, then I'm going to tell you, I think you should choose a Super Saiyan 3 Broly. The reason why I'm putting him lower on the list, though, um, he's part of Super Saiyan 3 and Pure Saiyan. The problem is he does not have over on Flash, so that definitely kills him for that team. Um, he is part of that Pure Saiyan, so those are two uh, very good categories. No one really runs him on Super Saiyan 3 because he doesn't tank well. Um, he actually gets hit. He's a glass cannon. See, he does attack plus 100%, plus attack plus 12%, and defense minus 10% per QR obtained. So he can hit ridiculous, ridiculous amounts of damage. I've had him hit over 3 million damage without any problems. The issue is your defense gets debuffed so freaking much that he literally can't tank anything. You need to literally get so lucky if you don't want him to get uh, hit very hard. Um, they will truck him. They will run him right over if you have them hitting him, even with type advantage. Uh, link skills, uh, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Lineage, Berserker, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, Limit Breaking Form, and Nightmare. Berserker, it doesn't really have a place. I mean, first off, you get your HP below 50%, and attack plus 20% is awesome. But getting, once your HP below drops below 50%, you're probably going to think about using a Sensu Bean anyway. Um, the Saiyan Lineage, even if you hit it off, it's only one key. While that one key does come into play, it, it's not going to be that necessary, because most of the time, if you're running Broly, you're going to want to have uh, Orb Changers on the team regardless. Uh, let's see, Fierce Battle, obviously good. Limit Breaking Form doesn't really do too much. So, honestly, if we're taking this for what it is for Link Skills, Super Saiyan, Prepared for Battle, Fierce Battle, and Nightmare, depending on the villain's team you run. So, if Broly's always fallen into this place, and I've watched other YouTubers say it as well, where he is like, he's a villain who wants to be a hero, and I think D Free says it all the time. That's what makes it hard, because he wants, he, he's a villain, but his Link Skills are that of, of i will have that for that of a heroes team so and because he's not a hero you're never gonna be able you're never gonna run him on a heroes team the other only only other like super saiyans you could run with him is either his other variants like his lr broly form or the og broly um the free to play broly that you have or any of like the baby saga guys who have gotten taken over or majin vegeta obviously um i think majin vegeta is probably gonna be one of the very few that can link decently with him on an extreme team but Honestly, I'm going to tell you this. He, he because everyone runs him over, I he, he's lower stun. He's probably going to be lower on the list, even below 17. Again, there this is the lower, the lowest tier that we're going to have. Uh, then you have the other 17 now. 17. The reason why I give him above a buff over the Broly is because he does have damage reduction. Now, I don't want to say 17 is bad. I actually really like the unit. I, I, I'm happy when I pulled him. I actually tried to summon for him. I think I did like two or three multis on his banner when he first came out. 
Granted, I was also going, I think it was the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta that was on it. I still am missing that one dude to rainbow him, but um, immense damage greatly lowers defense. Damage received minus 40%. Attack plus 30% with each attack received up to 120%. So that's not bad. If he gets attacked four times, he's doing a 120% damage output and he's tanking attacks. So that's not bad. The problem is Link skills. Um, Link skills and he's part of no categories. Uh, Link skills are Android Assault, which is horrible. T defense plus 1000. That's just, that needs to be reworked. Fear and Faith is good. Fused Fighter is good. But, I mean, who else are you going to run him with unless you're running, like... I mean, he's not even part of the Fusion team. That doesn't make sense to me. Like, I feel... I mean, I guess it's Finger Fusion because it's supposed to be, like, actual Fusion Dance team. But, like, Fused Fighter, you're not... You're not... You can't run him with anyone. He's never going to link with a good Fused Fighter. Maybe we'll find one. But, like, it's almost never going to happen. Um, Nightmare is a good link skill gt is universal for gt cards that can be beneficial especially because you're running um there are other units on this team that can run gt link shocking speed's good and fierce battle so um again fuse fighter's never going to be used or at least very seldomly it's going to be used android assault's never going to be used fear and faith and nightmare are going to be really good for villains gt is going to be specific to the gt characters doesn't matter who it is but i mean unless you maybe on a villains team it's going to come in handy um maybe not so much on agility let's go take a look at the agility real quick before i say nothing with the agility um for turs on agility i guess you have yeah that's all you have is the menacing super baby one let's drop down to the ssrs you have this uh planning for fusion hellfighter 17 doesn't he have a doken wiki no he doesn't so he's going to be the one he links with and honestly that's that's about it um Shocking speed and fierce battle. So yeah, I mean, again, low is probably gonna be one of the lower ones on the list. Him and Broly are like one of those that situation where, even though Broly has two uh, categories, he's not gonna really be used because he can't tank anything. And while Seventeen has the dam decent damage output and can tank, he doesn't really have the link skills or categories to make him good. Um, Korra can be good on a movie boss's team. He's gonna be just a little bit above, but again, this is the lower tier. So that's, that's what I think anyway. Um, I know this has been a long video. I'm like 22 minutes into this video right now. So I apologize. I thank you for those of you who have um, stayed this long to watch it to the end. Again, all opinion here. Go for the one that you want the most. If you don't have a, a physical leader, uh, go for a physical leader. You know, if you have everything except for like a strength leader, go for a strength leader. Base it off of what you don't have or base it off of who you like. If you're not basing off of either of those and you want to base it off of the most versatile cards, again, Super Saiyan 3 Goku Angel, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, and Super Gogeta. And again, out of these three, um, the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku does not have a replacement as of yet. So at least if you have the technique Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks or the strength Super Gogeta, you could at least have them as placeholders and choose the Super Saiyan 3 Goku Angel. But anyway, guys, again, I know this might have been a little bit more controversial of a video. But thank you for joining me here today. Thank you for staying with me, and uh, I'll catch you all down in the comments below. Have a great night.